in this application we transfer the file from the sender to the receiver securely first we go on to uh, enter the user id and the password then we select any multimedia file here we are selecting a pdf file we can uh, even select the audio file and the video file and as well as the image file This is the encrypted file, then we will embed it behind a video. Then we will select the video file behind which we want to embed the data. and then we will embed it the embedding process has been completed and the file has been replaced with the video file uh, where the data is embedded now when now we will send this file by entering the ip address of the receiver and as i just have one laptop connected so the one we uh, which the people are doing with two laptops or more than one laptop they can enter the ip address of the receiver and then will select the file that they have to uh, send to the receiver after that they will uh, here we will send this video embedded file and then we will have to de embed the data that has been hidden behind this video file selecting the video file behind which the data has been hidden now de embedding the file now this is the encrypted file that has come and that has the data behind it that the sender wanted to send to the receiver now we will decrypt this file if we enter a wrong password then there will be a damaged file that will uh, come onto the screen this is the file that has come on the screen that is a decrypted file and now choosing the file as a uh, pdf file we see that this is the output and this was the input file you can see the difference of the name this is the final major report and uh, this is 69 that is the uh, password that was uh, that is the name that was saved for the decrypted file now the same can be done now this encryption process can be done as well as for any media file that is for the uh, audio as well as the video as well as the image file and the extension can also be varied for the image file it can be a gif bmp or a jpg and then through this uh, option we can send the file to the receiver by entering the ip address thank you